This weekend, InfiniGods announced a Play to Adore campaign and today I'm gonna break down exactly how you can participate in it. InfiniGods is a mobile gaming studio that develops casual Web3 mobile games. Their team has worked at major gaming companies such as Facebook, EA, Zynga, Microsoft and many more. In fact, their CRO worked several years at a leading position for the Facebook gaming department. Just recently they announced that they have secured a Series A funding round, exclusively taken by Patera Capital which is a Tier 1 VC. I want to emphasize how big of a deal it is that a Tier 1 VC takes up a huge funding round like this. Infinigods is working on multiple titles, but today I want to focus on King of Destiny and how you can play that game to become eligible for an airdrop. By playing King of Destiny you can become eligible for the Kauf Protocol airdrop. You may think. Wait, what? Weren't we talking about InfiniGods? You heard that right. InfiniGods didn't launch a play to airdrop campaign, but it's Carve Protocol, which is incentivizing gamers to play various games, earn XP, and qualify for the upcoming Soul Token airdrop. So let's dive very briefly into Carve Protocol as well. It is essentially a data layer which empowers users to own, contribute, and monetize their data. They just recently announced a 10 million Series A funding as well with some notable investors. In order to participate in this airdrop campaign, you will have to sign up at protocol.carve.io slash airdrop and mint your own Carve ID. For this, you will have to bridge some BNB to the OP BNB chain. Around $3 worth of BNB should be more than enough. I'm gonna link a guide down below in the description. When signing up the email for your Carve account, make sure that it matches the one that you are planning to use for your King of Destiny account. If you don't have the game yet, the game can be downloaded on the iOS and Google Play Store. Also you should be aware that you can also grind other games in order to farm the Soul token airdrop. However, I would strongly recommend playing King of Destiny, as it has currently the highest percentage of the airdrop allocated to it and it's arguably the least amount of effort to play of all the games listed in there. Now let's take a look at the KOD missions and explore how you can earn XP. As always we have some social media tasks that can be completed for XP, but make sure to always use a burner account for those. Recently a lot of X accounts have been getting banned for participating in the social engagement farms, so make sure to use a burner account. Much more rewarding than the social media tasks are actually the gameplay missions. These gameplay missions incentivize you to earn stars, coins and fate, which are in-game currencies that can be earned by playing KOD. Stars can be earned in the campaign by completing the construction of a town. Coins can be earned in the campaign as well by drawing cards. Make sure to always use a pet in order to maximize your coin earnings. Fate on the other hand are primarily earned by playing tournaments and placing high on the leaderboards. You get points by destroying other players' towns, so make sure to use gods and their abilities. More often than not they will improve your performance and allow you to place high on the leaderboards. This play to adopt campaign is probably the one that is the least time intensive that I've encountered so far. So make sure to not miss it and get your calf tokens. Thank you for watching and see you soon.